What is Kragalagan? I teach comics. Again, same day. You know how it is. Uh, gonna do a review of the Rhino Comic Con. The, um, the box is kind of cool in some sort. I mean, it, it has the texture of his uh, skin on it. Um, I like what they did with the uh, R, having his face right there. Really nice. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty simple box. Um, it says Rhino uh, wrapped around uh, the entire box. I guess that's cool. And uh, yeah, pretty simple compared to other boxes they do, you know? That's Rhino on the top. So uh, pretty cool, but I really, really dig that R. Should have been that R by itself right there. Boom. Rhino. That should be his logo, actually. But anyways, I'm done. Let's get this to it. Let's get this to it or let's get this started. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, what is Greg Alec? And so here we have the uh, Rhino comic head and uh, uh, this thing is uh, freaking humongous. It is really big, though it is really, really light. It is lighter than the uh, than the Hulk. I mean, it looks so much massiver, but uh, let me show you something. It's just, I mean, it, it weighs absolutely nothing. Um, and I know uh, most of us, uh, you know, that were, uh, I guess, uh, spoiled with uh, um, back in the day weight of uh, statues like uh, again the whole PF which was 45 pounds um, this is not that bad of a thing uh, meaning you can actually put this on a, on a shelf and not worry about the weight breaking it down um, but otherwise I'm sure if you uh, want your stuff to be heavy yeah you're gonna be a little bit disappointed it's really hollow I mean you can hear it clearly but um, apart from that uh, I think it's great. I don't see I think the color they did a great job with the color um, You might think it's easy because it's just uh, gray um, But so is the whole you know Hulk is just green and uh, you know, it's that that green on the uh, Maquette was really really white, but um uh, Let's get into it. Let's get into it here real quick. Um, <clears throat> the head comes off uh, I'm, I, I'm not sure if it comes like this in the uh, package, but remember there's a exclusive and um, that's why the switch your head, so it's still included on here, so you can actually switch the head or take the head off, not switch it because obviously it's the regular, it doesn't come with the, the head. The, uh, the detail on here is pretty, pretty amazing, as you can see. And I mean, I, I say amazing because it does bring something to the piece. It's not just a uh, horn and, you know, some color. It actually has all the grooves and whatnot it's sculpted on there. That's pretty awesome to me. Um, the the all the little small details like let me put it right here let me show you let me show you what I'm talking about because this thing has detail everywhere and um, like texture um, you can see the texture all over the uh, the body everywhere I mean it is really really impressive and time-consuming to <laughs> get all this down uh, like it is I mean this is not easy the feet uh, the nails are, uh, are pretty, I mean, I mean, the painting on this thing is, is impressive. I like it, like it a lot. There's no complaints on the paint. There's no complaints on the head, on the sculpt. Um, I'm actually move this out of the way. Um, he's so um, bent down, as you can see, that I had to take uh, the, the tripod and put it really low, and I'm actually using my hands instead of the tripod, because he's so uh, in uh, an awkward position here. But, um, but here, you know, the, the, the sculpt under, you know, the muscles, um, his package, um, the veins coming out of his package, which is pretty impressive too. The, uh, the, the, the thighs, I mean, look at the, 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 uh, the biceps and the freaking shoulders. I mean, it is a big piece that I haven't even shown you the back. I will show you that in a second. So here is the side. I'll show you the back in a second. Um, one complaint I've heard about the exclusive is that the head doesn't sit so well on on here on the exclusive head. Now this is a normal version, so uh, that's something to uh, look at when uh, you know you're getting the exclusive and whatnot. But um, again, look and see how the shadows on the on there. I mean, it's uh, the sculpting is. Uh, top notch on this. I can't remember who sculpted this, um, so I'm not even gonna say. Uh, but anyways, let's let's just keep looking at this awesomeness here. Let, look at look at the uh, dude. Look at that tricep, bro. Woo! Look at that. Let me let me switch it out so we can see the back completely. 
there you go there you go I had to start right there because uh, <laughs> that's some uh, really really defined booty right there um, but the back let me show you the back Oof, this thing is um, I think it's bigger than the Hulk actually to be honest um, let me go right look look at my hand I mean it is it is huge freaking mongus and again the detail is everywhere um, it's just an impressive piece. It's an impressive piece. Um, I didn't think it was gonna like it that much, but uh, it, it, it just it is remarkable, man. It is humongous. Paints great. Sculpts great. Uh, the pose is cool. Um, different from uh, you know other statues because uh, it's a really awkward position because that's what he's about to ram somebody, kill somebody, probably Spider-Man. Um, look at the the hands right there. So uh, I'm I'm really really impressed. Uh, in place. I don't think I have anything negative to say about this piece. Um, let's move it back. This pretty much is. This, this piece is kick ass. Um, like I, I can't. Uh, honestly, there's absolutely nothing negative I have to say. Um, I might be blinded by the awesomeness of the piece right now, but I don't know. But yeah, let me give you one final look here. Even though I'm gonna give you a nice look uh, uh, while we're talking about the piece. But um, yeah, let me let me go around the back here too. I mean, it is this guy's wide. He is way wider than Hulk. Um, maybe not way wider, but he is definitely wider. I mean, look at that. That's just my hand. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. It's crazy. My face. Hold on. Let me put my face right there. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's crazy. Crazy. So yeah, pretty awesome. <laughs> The comments have spawned. There is no zipper. It's up. Yeah, I probably so wish I had gotten a spider right. hanging on the wall. It still has to have a zipper. Not necessarily. So he doesn't take it off. But he can't. Well, he can't take it off. It's like bonded to him. Because remember, it's a weird material. So there's, I can make a spandex suit right now that has no zipper that you can get into. <laughs> it isn't like regular fabric. This isn't like fabric. It's like a weird. It's like rhino skin. Yeah. <laughs> So maybe there was a scene, and then it just healed itself over. <laughs> and now it's bonded to him, so now it's real skin. So if he doesn't poop, it's supposed to be the yeah. villain in the next Spider-Man movie. One of the villains. That's what I'm going one with. Where does the troll go? Um. What's crack, ladies and gentlemen? Here we are again, Tate, uh, with the guys Anthony and Nikia. Um, trying to see what they think about the statue, and um, that's what's crack, like. So, gentlemen, what's going on? <laughs> oh, wait, that was a cheat. That's a shitty one. <laughs> boom, boom. I'll go first again. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about it. I uh, I like the texture. It's over there. I like the face. There. I like the face. I like that. Uh, I think it's the the first rhino statue I've ever seen that's got an, an actual rhino-looking face. Uh, I don't like that there's no seals or zippers or buckles. And I know what you're going to say when, when it gets to you, that it's bonded <laughs> to him and I get that. And it's skin. Um, it's, no, no, it's bonded to his skin. Uh, but where does the poop go? <laughs> that's, that's where I- That's, I, that's, that's question. where question. He takes big dumps in the streets of New York. That's why he's a real villain. It's not that he steals them. But there's no holes for the poops. They're not gonna sculpt the poop hole. No, it's like right there. Oh, you is that where it is? It's like, actually, oh wow, there's actually a dent right there. I don't care, yeah. see? Yeah. Really? yeah, there's a dent there. Oh, there I wasn't is. even trying to reach for there. <laughs> so now um, you know where he poops from. Uh, I don't hate it, but uh, it's not my, well, it's my favorite rhino face. And I like the texture on it. But uh, I think he's way too uh, clay. Nah, I'm not gonna say clay. He's way too. Uh, his anatomy is all crazy. Crazier than I, I like in my statue. Fine. You know, he looks almost like he could be. He looks like he's the base sculpt for an abomination statue. Yeah, maybe it was Tony Soprano. Like, Anyways, I don't remember. Uh, I like that he's in a. a uh, I'm about to run into you. Yeah, he's about to kill somebody for sure. So I guess. Um, I don't mind it. I don't hate it. I have a couple problems with it. He has no eyebrows, but he has a brow bone. So maybe he just plucks them. Maybe he's a super <laughs> attentive Russian dude. Yep. Um, I know quite a few Russians. They have some brows happen. He has no eyebrows. Um, I like that it has warts like along the feet and stuff. Um, a little bit of pumicing buff that right out. I don't like on his um left arm. 
on the wrist there's a really weird sculpt but not seam it's just a really weird ridge where it's like ridge and then hand begins and i find that to be really odd it's not a wrinkle it's very flat that i don't like um i like that he has subtle veining he's a cool face except for the eyebrows um but i guess if we'll be over we can do it so can he. Um, I like that we found his butthole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that we found his butthole. Um, his base is kind of boring, though. I think he could have a cooler base, um, especially, you know, something like the Hulk base where you have the girder and the. It, it, this just seems like or a generic like base. That, or grass. Yeah, but then like. Or, no, for me, like a part of a messed up car that you just run across. Or cr yeah, something. Cool. This, it seems like they went generic base number nine. Stone, not even street, stone. <laughs> I, I would like to see him in like a with the Sahara, like a rhino. Serengeti, like a rhino grazing, with a big thing of rhino poop right behind him. Yeah. That's the sideshow like... exclusive, rhino poop. <laughs> but he looks pretty good. He he has like really good paint job. His hands are really cool painted. Um, his fingernails have like little nicks and scratches in them. They even like messed up his cuticle, which is kind of good detail. Um, his toenails and fingernails are also a different color than his skin, which is something I always hate. Yeah. I like his horn, um, but I kind of hate his ears. <laughs> because you have tinier ears. Ryan also have tiny ass ears. She has slightly smaller ears. Um, but overall, I like the statue. Um, he's super light. Like, he's way lighter than the Hulk. Um, overall, I like my typical props. I don't like the range on the wrist. I really don't like the base. I think the base is just so boring to what. This is otherwise a very dynamic figure or a statue. And I really I just wish he had eyebrows. I know that's a dumb thing to nitpick, but it bothers me. Even fa even with his back facing me, I can see through it <laughs> and no eyebrows. It's killing him. Does he have eyebrows in the, in the comments? It depends. I mean, that, that really is like a, some artist who's not so but yeah, he should. So you would rather have eyebrows? I'd rather have eyebrows. Something. And pencil man, I don't know. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Well, anyway, appreciate the uh, the comments and uh, yeah, eyebrow says what's up and the hoop hole. Yeah. Oh, and I don't like his spine. <laughs> you don't like it? That's creepy. I feel like it could be the abomination. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, what's up? So here from Tate's, we're done. Ladies. And guys, remember to check out Tate'sComics.com, uh, their website. And um, if you are somewhere in Florida or are traveling to Florida, please check out the place. Um, as you can see, it is pretty awesome. Um, super freaking badass. So uh, it's definitely, uh, I would love to live there. Um, but yeah, so once again, a uh, big thank you to everybody at Tate's um, for allowing me to do this, for helping me to do this. And um, yeah, super pumped. So um, again, check out the website. All the links are under the description. And if you're on ptvision.com, they're under the video. Um, links to everywhere, okay? Uh, so yeah, I am out, guys. Thanks for watching. And please comment and let me know if you thought the video was awesome. All right? Laters!